Welcome to another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. Today I'm reviewing a Lagavulin 16 year old. You might be thinking, why are you reviewing a Lagavulin 16? It's so common. Well, it is common. Not this one though. This is the 2017 Fajal bot bottling for the Isle of Malt Festival. What makes it special is this. It's double matured in Moscatel cask wood. So Moscatel sweet wine, limited release of 2000, well actually it doesn't really say how many bottles, it's probably a shitload of bottles, but this is a 2329 bottle, so 56%, which I presume is cast strength. Let's see if it says that. I should have really prepared, but you know what, I like these off the cuff. It doesn't say, but I'm assuming it's cast strength. Um, personally selected by Ian MacArthur. I don't know who Ian MacArthur is, but I presume he's a big wig. He's an important fella, because if they put their name in there, he's probably an important fella. So 16 year old Lagavulin, usually Lagavulin is something that I would be able to buy overseas. It's reliable, it's delicious, I do love it. Um, it can be a little bit repetitive, but it is very reliable overseas. But 16 year old Moscatel cask, you just don't get that shit. I mean, it's just rare to find Moscatel wood in a Lagavulin. So, that's why I'm reviewing it today. Let's get nosing and let's get reviewing. The nose is slightly lighter than your normal Lagavulin. Maybe because normal Lagavulin has a big sherry influence and sherry can be quite a deep nose, but the nose is vibrant, it's zesty, it's youthful, it's sweet. It is PT, a faint hint of smoke. I take it back, it is not a faint hint of smoke, it is actually very, very smoky, rubbery, liquid rubber, fresh rubber, salt, very salty. I get like a smoked, I get like a bacon in there, like a really fatty bacon. You know what, on the nose, there's not a huge difference with a normal Lagavulin. It is lighter, but it's not a huge difference. Yeah, you know what, on the nose, it's not a huge difference. Let's get nosing. Oh, let's get sipping, sorry. This is my fifth gram of the day, so let's get sipping. Your palate is assaulted with a sharp, sharp sweetness. A sharp sweetness, like, I can't even describe it, like a really, really sharp sweetness. And then it is immediately followed by a heavy, heavy smoke, burning rubber, like a, a liquid rubber, like a heated rubber wet soil, grapefruit pith, holy moly, and I'm still, that small sip that I had, I am salivating, there is a distinct salinity to that. Now, I'm not saying that there's a notion of romanticness of they put the, the, the barrel by the ocean for 16 years, maybe they did, maybe they have, I mean, you know, Lagavulin is Isla, it is very coastal, it is very... I think the water they use is probably super hard, maybe? I don't know if anyone can give me insight to it, but... That is absolutely salty as freaking shit. That is salty. Mmm. Oh, wow. Fustiness. Slight dirtiness. Sweetness, just overwhelming the palate and boom, it cuts off into a smoke, a smoldering driftwood in the ocean with, oh wow, 
The saltiness is making me salivate. It's so saline that it's making me salivate. I'm getting bacon. Not crispy bacon, but just in between when it's just soft and watering and crispy. Just that between. It's oily, it's fatty, covers the mouth. The mouth feel is absolutely gorgeous. Holy shit. That is absolutely awesome. Grapefruit pith, citrus. I get a distinct citrus. On the palate, I get lemon peel and lemon juice, but on the finish, I get grapefruit. Slight bitterness that lingers. Just a slight. Absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. Oh, wow, I can't even begin to describe the awesomeness of this bottle. This is the first facial bottle I've ever had of Lagavulin. I've had a lot of Lagavulins. I've even had all sorts of Nick Offerman, is it Nick Offerman? Nick Offerman bottlings. I've had standard bottlings. I've had the car strength 9, 10, whatever. But this is by, and I've had independent bottlings as well of, of Lagavulin. But this here, Lagavulin said to their guys and said, make something awesome. They'll make Lagavulin Jesus Proud and Korean Baby Jesus Proud and Ian MacArthur said all right let's do it and this is what they came up with I am absolutely flabbergasted by that wow there's nothing else for me to say the best Lager Villa I've ever had. Ever. I would sell my left nut, Ernie, with this Lager Villa. I would engage in deviant and marginal sexual things for this that I usually wouldn't. How I would oppress, I would oppress small nations that are poorly armed and in poverty for this. Oh, I'm just, wow. That is so good. That is so good. Look, have you tried this before? The 2017 Moscatel Facial. Can you recommend any other year with weird wood? <laughs> weird wood. <laughs> That's right. I like weird wood. I like um, Isla with weird wood because most Islas don't really deviate from normal woods. Please recommend it. Until next time, make sure you eat, smoke, drink. And thank you for joining me today. Cheers.